Mental. This is mental. <laughs> this is Tim Bowen with the Steady Trade Podcast. How's it going? The Steady Trade Podcast, Season 1 Prize Winners. Hello. Hey, Isaac, you there? Yes. Okay, so uh, so would like to welcome you to the you know we the, to the Steady Trade Podcast Season One giveaway. Um, we had over three thousand entries, and you were one of the eleven. Um, now we're going to tease you for a little while. We're going to get your comments. We want to kind of know your journey and what you think of the podcast. But uh, at the end, we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll hand over the prize. Awesome. So just wondering, you know, kind of one of the things we wanted to do with these, with these calls is kind of get to know the listeners. You know, we're trying to make the podcast a little better every episode, a little better every season. So um, just kind of want to get to know you. Kind of what is your background in trading and kind of where are you at, at you know, as of October 2017 on your, on your trading journey? Well, I have really just had a few um, IRA accounts that I've been kind of trying to do the value investing on. um, Which is is what I, what I tried to do for about 15 years. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, and getting nervous about the bull market, not, not nearly educated enough. Um, But we ran across Timothy Sykes from through James Altucher and uh, oh, okay. really liked what he was saying about you don't have to have a position even, you know, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. oh my goodness, this is just totally radically different from what I've been even trying to do. Just the, the whole uh, buy and hope approach. Oh yeah. I was getting real uncomfortable with. Well, and um, so many, so, so many we, people, which, which maybe you were there. I mean, I, I know many people, that were, you know, they rode the bull market up until 2008, then the market crash. And then it took them five years because they just did the buy and hold. It took them five years to get back to the point they were in 2008 or 2007. I was not in the market that early, but I, I watched it from the sidelines and that's what I was getting nervous about. Um, so I, I'd had, uh, you know, just a decent run, not, is probably any losses offset by by really my the company I was working for at the time was kept doing really well, um, but quit working for them and and we've we as the beginning of August found the Timothy Sykes uh, How to Make Millions DVD and through that stock to trade and and have loved having um, your input every market open and close as well as all the resources available through Timothy Sachs. Oh, I, so, so I did not different perspectives. I I guess, you know, I've been so busy the last few days. I did not realize. So, so you're, you're a stocks to trade pro member then. I am. Oh, really? uh, I did not, I did not realize that. Okay. Sorry. (laughs) Just barely getting started. Just try to uh, get caught up a lot. Get up to speed. I, I'm green on today, so that's fun. Nice, nice, awesome. What what did you trade today? Uh, the CLSN. Perfect, perfect. <clears throat> and how did you do on that, Isaac? Um, what was the entry um, and exits? Let's see. I got in at three seventy six and out at. Four sixteen. That's not bad. Not and bad then I at got all. Got back in. Got back in at four seventy six and out at five fourteen. Nice, nice, wow, very good. And I'm just, I'm just curious. From starting off from a value investor perspective, what have you picked up from the podcast that might have uh, been a a good lesson for you from a different perspective? Well, I, you know, I really liked your episode about having a plan, trading a plan, you know, and, and one of my thoughts is being so new, I, I don't exactly know what I'm good at yet. You know how, uh, Steven committed to only trading one pattern Mm -hmm. for the next month. 
I'm like, hi, you know, I don't know that I know. Which I think he, what, I think he, I think he, I, think he even, I think he broke that like the next day, by the way. But, but anyway, go ahead. <laughs> I, I, I had to get in CLS today. I had to. And I, like, when you see opportunities to take profit, then, then that's, that's, you've got to take them. But yeah, if, if you're saying you're not sure about having one pattern, that's the best advice everybody gave to me that I didn't take. Um, find out what works <laughs> for you. Try and, try and define two or three setups that work and then stick to them and don't do anything else until you get more well, experience. Well, and even being new and going, well, what, what constitutes a good plan? You know, and I've, I've heard uh, Tim Bowen uh, commend people on their plans uh, several mornings. But what I got out of that podcast was knowing your risk. Just mm-hmm. having your, uh, I'm getting out at, if this happens. Uh, it's like, oh, okay, that's the most important thing right there. And then the rest of it is is pretty much just refining your your strategy and what works best for you and kind of what you're comfortable with. So. Yeah, something. Well, you've 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 heard me. I, I know you're just getting started, but you've heard me say it a lot. You know, I don't I don't care if you're trading a dollar stock, ten dollar stock, hundred dollar stock. All these rules apply, but you know, in the beginning, you you don't know what you don't know. You know, so so it's right. like that. That's why I say you know, focus on a particular price range, focus on a particular style, long, short, momentum, whatever that is. And stick right. with that because there's so much opportunity, especially right now, that, that again, you don't know what you don't know at this point. Right. And uh, the bull market has certainly uh, turned the heat up a little bit. So, <laughs> But it is, it's, it's so cool just being able to just uh, go in and out of a trade and, and cut your losses quickly. I mean, that's cool to not just watch it go down and, and not exactly know what I should be doing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's again, one of the great things that, that I try and accomplish is, you know, getting that, the, the understanding of the market mechanics and just knowing that, that, yeah, you know, one of the reasons we trade these liquid stocks is exactly that we can get in and out anytime we want. I just feel like I have uh, so much more control over it now. And, and I've only just started learning, you know, we kind of had a little crash course for two months, but, uh, but I feel so much further along than I was uh, in so, August. So, do you have a do you have an end goal? Do you have something in mind that you want to kind of achieve, or an uh, of an, uh, an overall objective? Do you want to be like the part time trader, like Tim Bourne? Or? No, I'd like to uh, trade full time. We we were really interested in the the flexibility and the freedom that that offers as a career, and we'd actually like to. Uh, travel around a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, I tell you that is one of that I've is been one in of the, the process of downsizing already for a year. You know, and this just seemed to come along right at the right time. Yeah, I've I've always said that's well, and I think you probably hear me talk about it. That's one of the beauties of the, of the market and technology. The fact that you can you you know all you need is a laptop, stocks to trade, and an internet connection, and you can literally do it from anywhere. You can do it from a library hotspot a mcdonald's a hotel a resort you know home anywhere yeah yeah it's awesome uh, and isaac i've got a question for you just a quick question uh-huh uh how would you feel about winning some tiktoks what flavor <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the yeah. ones the mini yeah. but they're big they're pretty big we, they're pretty big we, tiktoks that sounds awesome I, w- I was actually hoping, you know, there was a pretty good pause there because you didn't, you know, you didn't win the Tic Tacs. I, I, I was hoping you'd be a little more disappointed with teasing, with Steven, <laughs> Steven teasing you with the, the, the Tic Tacs. But, you know, I did okay. like the, the, there was a pretty good pause there. So, so I did sense a little bit of disappointment at least. Okay. I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe we've got some Bose. We've got a Bose Soundport headphones. What about that? That sounds incredible. That's awesome. Thank you. you. You'd feel good about the Bose sample, but what about an Apple Watch? What if we threw an Apple Watch at you? Well, I'd love it. Oh, oh well, oh, actually, then, then also, I mean, I guess, you know, I'm thinking of other things we could potentially give away. Like maybe, I mean, I don't know. How's your, how's your laptop? Have you, have you, you, you got a good solid, I, I mentioned being able to trade from anywhere. Do you have a good trading laptop right now? 
Oh man, I, I, I would, would you would you like a laptop uh, too? I would love it. Oh, um, I, I mean, Isaac. Oh my gosh, Isaac. Just just while we're talking about this, when you're not trading, how would you feel about having to go at some virtual reality? <laughs> I don't. I don't even know what that is. I just <laughs> the hot sector. But 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 you 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 don't know what virtual reality is, but you want it. I, I, yes, I want it. You are a greedy little bastard, isn't he, Stephen? <laughs> he is a greedy little. He doesn't bastard. even know. He doesn't even know what some of this stuff is, and bastard. he still wants it. I mean, I, I bet he doesn't. I bet he doesn't even want the fifty-five inch television either, does he? Oh does he God. want the fifty-five inch television? I would. Yeah, give me the TV. <laughs> uh, honestly, Isaac, Isaac, I'm sorry. Uh, we are just playing a game with you right now. You have actually won the Tic Tacs. Awesome. <laughs> but we will. In, in, in addition, in addition to the Tic Tacs, you have indeed <laughs> won a 55 inch TV, a Dell Inspire on laptop, an Oculus Lift Rift VR bundle, an Apple Watch. Bose Soundport headphones and oh my gosh! <laughs> as much as I am so excited, you're a Stocks to Trade Pro member, which is awesome. I, I couldn't believe, and we did a totally random, totally you know we did a, a number generation, completely random drawing. I love that you're an STT Pro member, but the beauty of it is you also get your uh, membership extended by a year with another free year of Stocks to Trade Pro on top of your existing. Oh my gosh! That is incredible. That is awesome. Isaac, Thank you, you so much. You greedy little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 what we so what we got to do is and you might have already said it as as to kind of wrap this up. I need you I need you to just tell me tell Stephen and I both that you know we, we want you to confirm and say it in your words that you are indeed a greedy little bastard. I'm a greedy little bastard. <laughs> That's the best kind of day trader right there. The greedier you are, the better you make as a trader. So. The Steady Trade Podcast will return with new episodes and new prizes November 6th, 2017.